Good evening, everybody. I'm Diaz Claw, and I'm coming to you for Team Fino. Uh, tonight, we're doing a little bit of a video vlog and kind of just updating what's going on with the channel and what's going on with the members as a whole. So, uh, right now, it's been a little bit hectic. Sarah started back at school. She's uh, currently attending full sale in order to get a degree in game design. I uh, figured if we love it that much, she's going to take it to the next level and actually get involved instead of just talking shit on the sidelines. Um, Aside from that, we've, <laughs> we've got little kids doing little kid things and, and trying to keep up with that and also keeping up on our day job. So it's been encroaching a little bit with our time in order to be able to be here and, and, and do this and play games and, and just kind of have fun. Uh, work for me has kind of taken me out of out of the home for a little bit here and there and I've been on the road a little bit here and there. And, and uh, now that we actually do have some time, we're going to be getting hard back at it. Um, in the future, we're hoping that uh, Ali will be able to make it back to the to the channel and we'll be able to finally do something for Lumo. We ended up losing all the content for that. So our, our flagship video series that we were going to do ended up getting tanked. So now uh, hopefully we'll be getting back in here and, and, and being able to get it done. You'll notice that tonight it's a little bit different here in the background uh, for me than, than it has been in the past. Uh, we've been able to take, we've been fortunate enough to get some of the equipment out of out of our living room and been able to uh, set up more of a permanent shop in, in, in our sound booth. Right now I'm waiting for all the acoustic tile and all the other shit to get in behind me and, and be able to make this kind of a really tight little little area in order to be put out the best content that we possibly can. Um, I wanted to say thank you to Nelconi at Base Stitches 21 for uh coming out and helping and doing that collaboration on Manual Samuel. Manual Samuel is a game uh, by Paranormal Studios and it's a game that I looked very forward to playing and, and I haven't been disappointed. It's somewhat difficult in order to be able to master it but uh, doing playing that game if you haven't had the opportunity to. Uh, playing that game with other people is is pretty awesome and it really is like a friendship test. Uh, it's something that, that I really did enjoy playing and uh, we'll be finishing that up here pretty soon. I'm hoping that we'll we'll be able to to knock it out of the park. Um, outside of that, you know, I'm still I've got my eyes on the horizon and thinking about what to play next and and uh, try to keep it fresh and entertaining not only for you guys but also for for me because I'm doing it because I love to play games. I'm doing it because I love to talk shit. And if if I can't do that and kind of maintain that 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 sense of just being able to have fun, then then I don't really want to do this too much, you know? Does that make sense? Um, so, as far as games that are out there on the horizon, you know, I, I really am a huge fan of the the Tiny Build uh, Studios and, and the different things that they have going on there. And there's quite a few other games that, I, that I've been looking at uh, as far as being able to just get something rolling with them and, and being able to, to have fun with it. Um, there's some intense ones out there and there's some funny ones and there's bullshit ones and, um, I'm not too steam smart, you know, uh, but since we started doing this, it's something that's definitely come up in conversation on whether or not we're actually going to incorporate stuff from the steam website and, uh, th those, um, those kinds of games. And I, I think would be foolhardy as not to, not only is it, um, more diverse, but, there's a lot of games, man, <laughs> and they got a lot of really cool stuff from independent people out there, and, and <coughs> pardon me, and I really look forward to, to, to checking out some of those, and there's a lot of things out there that I've been seeing covered on, on Twitter and Instagram and other shit, and um, it's, man, there's just some really beautiful things that are going on out there. I remember the, the first days of the NES when that was coming out, that was the that and the Atari, that, that was it. Like, you didn't have all these different other medias and all these different other um, kind of vendors and places to go and, 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 and get those different games, you know, and get those different accesses. Cell phones weren't a big, huge thing back then, and, and let alone having uh, that as a portable also. I remember Game Boy when that came out, you know, and that was uh, amazing. But now you you you're not stuck anymore, and that's that's really what kind of did it for me back in the day. Is I'd be able to go to the arcade and be able to get some of that freedom because I could run around and had so much access. Now you don't even have to leave the couch. You know, it kind of takes some of the fun out of it, in my opinion. But it is what it is. So 
if you've been with us from the beginning, thank you. Please keep coming back and we'll keep putting this up. If uh, you're kind of new here, please keep coming back. It's just going to get better, you know. Um, I thank you for your time and, and thanks for tuning in. And as we always say, two up, three down. I'm out.